hello we're just setting off on our walk and as you can see it's raining it's pretty pretty solid consistent rain actually but at this stage it's quite light it's forecast to get really heavy so over the course of the day it's going to set in really heavy which is why even though it's raining light to moderately actually light at the moment i've got myself equipped <laughs> and I am set up and ready for the rain. The aim is to get to camp and get set up um, before the rain really sets in, but I'm gonna be pushed for time because I've got quite a few hours of walking ahead of me. So we're already gaining a bit of height, as you can see. Beautiful area. Last camp I was hammock camping. Well, you know, hammock camping in my garden hammock, that is. Um, this time around, back in my little one person tent, my Freedom's Empire, one person lightweight tent, three season. It's so warm here, that's going to be absolutely fine. And I got a combination of two tarps today. My um, Stony Creek Stealth Bright Orange tarp and my DD Hammocks Ultralight tarp. So that's going to be amazing because I'm going to be able to cover the tent and have a separate area that I can sit under and cook in. Whoa! And we get to see how the two compare, which will be really good. We are expecting heavy rain, so it's raining solidly now. It's a bit hard to tell because. We're under the trees, but it is raining solidly out there. And it's supposed to set in really heavy later on. So that's just good news, isn't it? Good news. Now for some reason, oh, I don't know. There we go, that's much better. So sorry. Gosh, I can just see like the light shooting through the trees just means that I actually don't always get the, good, the best image on the phone. I hope you understand when you can um, solo filming in the outdoors you just, just don't get a chance to necessarily retake things. It's the experience is the experience and sometimes they're going to capture them well and sometimes not and the thing about me is that I've been hiking camping since I was about two years old but I am very 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 new to photography, videography and so this is a learning process for me. So hopefully what's really enjoyable is coming out into the outdoors with me the filming i'm still working on so hopefully it'll improve as time goes on all right let's go we've pretty much climbed all the altitude that we're going to which is nice because it was a bit of a slog so I'm looking forward to something a bit easier for a bit. So we're scooting around the side of the mountain, got a couple of little streams that we're going to cross over and then we're going to drop down to the main river where we're going to find our camp. Once again you know me, <laughs> every single one of my videos I don't know where I'm going, I kind of know, like I've looked on the maps and I've spent a long time planning and preparing but I actually can't visualize where I'm camping because I haven't been to the spot before so we are going to find it together we're looking for something flat close to the river and protected from the wind because it is very windy today
the sun and the rain. What a treat. I think probably I have about half an hour to go and then we'll start the hunt for the campsite. So when we do, you can see my process of how I find a campsite. I mean, most of the preparation is done before I'm out in the bush. And that's looking at the topographical map, um, reading up about the area and watching videos of other people who've done the walks that I want to do. And then when I'm in the area, so today there's going to be probably five things that I'm thinking about. The first one is I want it to be beautiful. It has to be beautiful. Secondly, it has to be flat. Third, it has to be close enough to a river but not so close that it's too noisy. Fourth, there's got to be some protection from the wind. And fifth, there's got to be some trees to help with tying my tarp up. Can, I can get my tarp up without any trees. It's just, that's not the kind of camp that I want to have. It's easier. Easier when there's trees. I can lift it higher. I want to be able to walk underneath, stand up straight. Yeah. And then, because it's probably going to be near a river, because that's where we're going, dropping down to a river, I just want to make sure that it's nowhere where I can be flooded out or where the water is draining, because I don't want to wake up in a puddle. So, a few things. A few things on my list. But as long as there's time, as long as you're not in a hurry, it's no problem. And I have done this trek before with a group of friends and I know where we camped last time. So worst case scenario, I can make my way there, which is probably about 20 minutes beyond where I'm planning to stay. And if you're wondering, well, why don't you just go there? The truth is, I like to go to different places. For me, a huge part of the pleasure of being outdoors is the... Whoa! Shoot! shoot. Just about slipped. Um, it's the pleasure of the adventure. If there was no adventure, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. And it couldn't be Adventure OT if there's no adventure. So the adventure is finding the new place the unknown and yep I could go to the same place but then I don't know it's not as exciting not as interesting you see that down through there I don't want to get too close to the edge because there's a bit of a drop off it's not too bad so we've got a flat area down there I did see that on the map I wondered how easy that would be to get to. Okay, well, let's just carry on and see whether the whether the track naturally gets us down there. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is just head back downstream. Because if you remember that flat part that we could see, that's just back downstream a couple of minutes. So. Whoa, rainy. Sorry for the cameras um, getting rained on. Now I've got to figure out how to do that. So the track goes that way, got the river this way, but chances are it's going to be quite narrow. So I just have to see how I can navigate back downstream. It might get a bit noisy here as well, so apologies. Yay, look at that. Gorgeous.
Okay. <laughs> so I've got the Stony Creek tarp up. I'm not 100% happy with it, but I'm cold and, oh, that's noisy. I'm not sure how much of the noise will be picked up because I'm using a wireless microphone for that exact reason so that you don't have to listen to all of it. Um, but it's very windy. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm cold and I'm tired, I'm going to make a brew. I'm going to have a coffee and that is just probably going to fix everything. So I'm going to have a coffee. I've got my chair out, just fallen over in the wind. And... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a coffee, and once I've done that, I think I will be able to see everything with fresh eyes. Um, I need to get the tent up, the second tarp up for the cooking area, and then we'll be away laughing. Empire. Single person tent. Goes up in two parts. I'm just going to get the coals ready first. It's actually a super quick and easy tent to get set up. I'm going to turn this bit of iron around and see how easy that is. Not very. It's 
just want to be really careful. The last thing I want to do is injure myself. going to be fantastic. So even though this wood's really wet, I don't really want it around the fire. I'm pretty excited about. Hello, what's this one? Just turn it around so it's flat. Ish. Flatish. I need something underneath this edge. My warm woolly hat, I do not want that wet. I need a small rock. And considering that I keep hitting them every time I try to put a peg in, there must be plenty. There we go. Oh, exciting. So exciting. All right. So I've got my little fireplace set up. Hopefully that guy line's not too close to it. I'll move it now. Okay. So call me crazy, but I carried an actual saw. Look, I don't have all the fancy Bushman paraphernalia. I just had a saw. But I decided that I needed one because uh, I've tried having a fire a couple of times when I've been out in this area or a similar area to this and it's just not worked that well. The problem, the problem is, as I've said before, everything is wet and so as a result it's really, really hard to get a fire going. See, this is the problem with these lemon rocks. You can't get the peg in as far as you want to. That's when you see my frustration coming out. You just can't get the peg down far enough. Um, okay, what was I saying? So, getting a fire going is really tricky in the New, in the New Zealand bush on its own let alone 
when all you've got access to is twigs. And so I wanted to find some decent sized branches. Some standing deadwood. Okay, so that's what we're up to do. going to get some smaller pieces now. Um, I haven't got an axe to chop these up with. I just, I couldn't bring everything. So I haven't got an axe. I'm just going to go and gather a few small bits. And then I'm actually going to light the fire. I want the fire to get the fire going because I'm cooking my dinner on it tonight and it's 5.50 p.m. that the wood here would be wet and so I brought some kindling in with me. I'm prepared to carry that little bit of extra weight in order to make sure I can have a fire. So what we need is to create a dry base.
it's good to cut wheat on the outside, so I'm going to go for a mixture of the kindling I brought and the wood that I've collected. Just to make sure it keeps going. Probably going to be quite a smoky fire because of the wet wood, but that's all part of the fun, isn't it? So those of you who have watched my videos before and who know my channel will know that I love to go camping with my dog Indy. Indy would have loved to have come today. She would have loved to have come, but sadly she is at home feeling a bit sorry for herself. She's okay, but she had to have a bit of surgery the other day. And because of where the incision was, it's on her hindquarter, so on her hip, and it's right where, if she takes a long stride, it just really stretches out. Sounds yucky. But the vet um, gave us instructions she needed to be kept. Kept from running, kept from jumping, kept from being too physically active. 10 days. That is so hard for Indy. She just loves being active basically. She's a collie. Collies love being active. Indy's a short head water collie crossed with a athletic. So for those of you who are really looking forward to seeing Indy, I'm so sorry. She will be back, absolutely, but not for another, where are we, it's two days post-op, so another eight days. So if I do get out again within the next eight days, which is unlikely, she won't be with me, but after that she will. But you don't need to worry about her, she's been absolutely doted on by the rest of the family back at home. to making dinner soon and what we have for dinner tonight I just realized I looked over at my food and I realized I never stopped for lunch <laughs> I never stopped for lunch oh that's so funny it doesn't bother me oh well I didn't even realize I was so busy I got here quite late and I thought oh I'll have a late lunch got here at about two and it honestly took me hours of faffing about to get the tarps set up. You might not have realized because obviously when I edit this I'm not going to put in the hours and hours of fiddling around but in reality that's what it was. So I missed lunch and so for dinner two small delicious pieces of steak that are marinating and they're going to go on the fire and I'm going to slice those up 
and put them over noodles, yes, instant noodles, and a whole lot of greens. And this is not the only greens I have. This is basically chock-a-block full of other greens. I love my greens, love my whole foods. Love my chips. that rest for a while. And I want to get the fire going again. Lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. Right, this looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. So turn that off.
so we have noodles with kale, spinach, bok choy and kak choy. And over the top, some lovely steak. All right. Bon appetit, I am going to enjoy this. I just put a bit more wood on the fire. It's caught on nicely. Right, dinner. This smells beautiful. I wish you could smell it. Oopsie. The light's starting to fade. It's 7.30 p.m. So we've got about another hour of light before it's completely dark. I'm going to eat my dinner and then after dinner I'm going to go down to the river which is only about 30 meters away collect some more water so I can have a drink tonight and then I'm just going to relax hopefully listen to the sound of the fire if I can hear it over the sound of the wind okay that's everything Just trying to dry out my microphone wind buff. I took my peppermint tea over on it. I have a feeling I'm just going to have to let it dry naturally. I'm going 
going to let the fire die out now. Ouch. I want to make sure it's completely out by the time I go to bed. What time is it? Nine o'clock. So actually I said it would get dark at 8.30. It's actually nine o'clock. It's still light. A little bit light. I'm just going to sit here and watch the fire until it dies out. I've brought with me some delicious things to make for breakfast. So hopefully I'm feeling hungry by then, <laughs> after my lovely big meal tonight. So I'm just going to wake up when I wake up. Good night everybody. See you in the morning. So the rain keeps coming and going. I woke up to the sound of rain and then it stopped. And then I came out here to have a look at the view and it was raining lightly and then it stopped. And you can sort of see by the clouds, it's coming and going. So you've got these dark clouds and light patches as well, moving really quickly. The forecast was just for a little bit of rain this morning, patchy light rain. Now where was that spot? There it is. There it is. again. Can you see it against the trees? Might be quite hard to see it. Right, hold on, I'm going to jump back up here. <laughs> yep, it's definitely raining again. Get ourselves back to camp and get this bacon sizzling. First of all, we'll have a coffee. Bacon looks great. Hopefully, I haven't let it stick on too much. I just want to show you something. I don't know if you can see it from there, but look at how cheeky sandflies are. 
so I have there goes another one and another one I've had this lid on with a tiny little hole to drink from and they just decide they want to climb into my drink I'm going to have to fish those out in a moment just want to clean this pan off a bit Okay, last bit of olive oil. Post up my bagel, <laughs> although I better move back a little bit because it is <clears throat> it is raining. I ended up with a wet bagel. Mmm, yum! Can't help myself. Beautiful. Did you spot that? I don't know if it was in the camera. In the frame. Tiny little bird came and stole a piece of mushroom that had fallen. <laughs> Cheeky. Good to get these sand flies out. Here he comes again. Hello cutie. I don't want to feed you anything as cute as you are. Because you're a native bird and you need to eat native bird food. Not bacon, not mushrooms. This is crazy, this is way too much food, oh my goodness. <laughs> right, there is the avocado. Now somewhere in here I also have salt and pepper. Bit of salt and pepper. Okay, now we need to do a little bit of a swap seat. I'm going to reheat the bacon and spinach.
oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. Bacon and spinach, mushroom and spinach. Oh, my goodness, this is ridiculous. The only thing that would probably make this complete is a bit of aioli. Okay, here we go. Just going to use my fingers, I don't think there's any other way. This is the most ridiculous breakfast. That <laughs> is way too much. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. I can't even fit it all on. Beautiful. Beautiful. So once I've had my breakfast, I'm going to start to pack up. Yeah, that's a bit sad, isn't it? I'm not sure if I'll film much of that. So if I don't, oh, by the way, you probably can't see me past that branch. It's stick. Um, I'll see you on the trail. Finish my breakfast, get myself packed up, and I'll see you back out on the trail. stop for a little drinks break. I'm almost back at the car. I think I've got about half an hour to go. What a fantastic camp. I really enjoyed myself. I hope that you guys enjoyed yourselves as well. Consensus on the tarps bringing two so that I can have a separate space to sit and and cook. 
I think it was a great idea. I loved it. I mean, yes, it adds a little bit of weight, but the ultralight uh, DD Hammocks tarp is not that heavy. So that extra, I don't know what it is, 470 grams, I don't know, something like that was well worth it. Gave me lots of room. It meant that I wasn't having to worry about being dripped on all the time. It was really, really great. So I think I'll do that again for a, um, a walk where I'm not going, where it's not multi-day, um, when I can afford to take a little bit of extra weight. Hey, thanks for coming with me. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel, if you want to know when videos are coming out. Um, and if you've got any comments, anything you want to say, if you want to say hello or ask me a question, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And if you can click a thumbs up on the like button, that really helps as well. It's really encouraging for me to know people enjoy what I'm doing and um, want to see more. I'm going to give you a quick um, view of my view and then I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you next time. Bye.